Toz from Cranky Gamers UK and this is probably the biggest and best unboxing video I have done in a long time. Um, any listeners to the show, crankygamersuk.net, sorry for the knife flashing about, it's obviously to get into this beauty. What it is, anybody listening to last week's show would know that I had a bit of luck on the old football accumulators and I had a really good win. And this has got to be an omen because people have heard me talking about 3D printing in the last few months. It's a secret hobby of mine. Something I thought I would never, ever, ever, ever get because they are very expensive. Well, I won £221, any listeners to the show. Now, ebuyer.com, based here in the UK, currently had this little beauty on sale, in a sale, two days ago. And the price, £221, down from £389. And it was just an omen. I spent the whole day researching, looking into it. And this baby, which actually is, as you can see on the box, it's a Da Vinci Junior 1.0. Now, I'm going to open it. I've not looked into it. It arrived about half an hour ago. I looked into all this. I spent an hour, like I said. I'm super excited. And this little beauty has got reviews on YouTube. Check them out. They are fantastic. And this is what swung it for me. Now... There are one tiny, tiny drawback, and I'll talk about it while I'm breaking the tape, because I've got a feeling this might take a while. Um, they do a naughty little thing that we always used to with normal printers, and some are calling it the DRM. Um, and what it is, their cartridge system for the filament, it's chipped, basically like a normal printer. We've all dealt with normal printers in the past, where they try and convince you that you can only use their printing ink. Well, let me tell you now, in printing for 20 odd, 30 odd, 25 years odd, I've yet to buy an original cartridge from any of my printers through my life. I have looked. Now, the filament for these currently, like I say, it's kind of DRM, it's linked to their chip. On the machine, it shows you a length of filament that you've got left, and it ticks down just like a normal everyday paper printer. So you're literally tied to these kind of DRM5 that you must buy their cartridges, their filaments. They're currently running, I've looked online, this was the final seller. Reading all the negatives, and that is the only negative, let me just get that out there, saying um, that you know it was the only negative that the DRM, you've got to buy their filament, kind of limits you to colours and other stuff. Now, I was expecting when I searched, it was the last thing I searched, and I was expecting something like... 50 quid a roll, which would have probably completely put me off. Now, even to buy their filaments, which are quite large, they're 20 pound a roll. So, I thought that's not too bad. I have done a bit of research into it is hackable, like all printers are. You can either buy a little device from America or you can reset the EEPROM and do things like this. Now I've not looked at it deeply and I would throw this out there. If there are any Da Vinci users that could really drop me a line, crankytoz at gmail.com, really appreciate it. I'm brand new to this 3D. This is my first ever attempt. I am completely blind. It's like the first ever time you was put in front of a computer. So I think without further ado, should we get in and let's have a look at this beauty? Because I am so excited. One tiny thing I've worried about, where the hell is it gonna go in my flat? I had planned to put it on a little coffee table, you can see it over there. Don't think it's going to fit on there. Anyhow, let's crack in. Apologies for camera work, guys. Um, are you getting, yeah, you can see inside, that's not a bad thing. I think I'm going to be reading this beauty extensively. And there it is, just up to the camera. It is the Da Vinci Junior 1.0 Quick Guide. And guys, it's just, it looks like a little microwave. And uh, I just can't wait now. Let me just pick this out here. I can give you a quick little look on there. We have got a USB cable, a lovely little spatula that you get them off. And I wish I'd opened the box 10 minutes ago because guess what I've just ordered off the internet? I've just ordered a 32 gig SD card. Well, believe it or not, there's a four gig one in there. So I might try and cancel that order. Um, these bits and bobs, there's cleaners, there's all these little rods, I've seen how it's done before. Like I said, I did extensive research. It's basically to keep the filaments and stuff clean. I think the best thing to do with that is 
let me find some way to just put it out the way and let and I might struggle to get this out myself and I might have to pause the camera and come back guys because there's no point in me struggling well I'll tell you what I am going to show you before I probably do pause the camera this is in fact the big thing we're talking about you can see there's a load of white filament there they are the rolls now what I will say inside here where that little screw is inside that white bit in there is a little chip on your printer cartridges and what they do you can buy the rolls 20 quid that you refill it when this runs down what you do you just undo that screw then two things separate and you replace that back inside the other one that you've got and that's literally how they do it so but like I say I've looked online and the, there is a lot going on to try and combat that and I hope to in time what I will just say about this printer guys and this again was a selling point they basically say out the box to print in in less than 20 minutes so what I will do I'm just going to get it out of the box let you have a quick look on camera and then I will have a play with it for a few hours have a bigger read up and then I'll obviously post videos of my first prints or any videos I see relevant what I will say guys I am so excited I haven't been this excited for a product well since I put, probably got since, since I got a console now I'm just wondering whether I should probably pause this there's a power cable there nice to see UK plug it's a kettle plug so I had seen reviews of earlier models where if I delve down here where that was included which is no good to nobody but glad to see e-buyer which is clear they've done it or do into themselves to put a UK plug in nice touch um, all that's left guys I think now is me oh, power pack separate power pack again I don't know where I'm going to plug all this in I don't think of these things um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out while I'm on camera I think this might even be a two-man job I am going to really struggle I'm going to pause the camera guys I'm going to come back in a while no point wasting video so I hope you enjoyed that first two minutes or five minutes I'll be back sure Hi guys we're back wow that it was that tough for me to get out of that box I actually contemplated messaging my daughter to come and give me a hand um, but I did struggle um, but as you can see an absolutely gorgeous looking piece of kit um, I've had time because I've had to I've had to edit that last video I've had to get that video out of the software because you can't just re-record so about 45 minutes has passed because it takes ages but anyway this is it guys I mean I've not removed I've removed the stickers and stuff off here it was covered in paper and stuff uh, inside I'll just show you basically it's a beautiful looking machine inside I mean the lid goes on top of there inside printer head you've got polystyrene I've just read the instructions your spool goes on there it gets fed up into there through the lid across the back and down into the filament head which is here um, but before that I've got to remove the cardboard and this protection thing and literally like I said in the first part of the video it's plug and play and go and on the SD card is the software I've read and on that SD card there is some sample files I think there's a little toy a little wrench and a, an owl so anybody who knows about printing what you will find straight away it's very long and laborious prints can take 10-15 hours at a time so I am going to get it all sorted get it cracked up get my first sample print of I'm not sure if that's a full spool we all know printers when they release normally they rip you off and put a percentage of ink in the cartridge to go and make you get another but I'm actually going to buy one of their proprietary spools today it's bank holiday I think here in the UK it's Easter so that won't be here to the middle of next week and probably because I'm that excited I should be probably through this spool now just as a thing there's a there's a website called Thingiverse and it's pronounced how it sounds Thingy T-H-I-N-G-I -I, Verse and it's basically where all the clever people go and put their 3D printer files on this site for free and you download them stick them on the SD card drop it in the top of there and away we go and that is simple as that guys and just as a few things that I've already downloaded just to give you an idea of what things I'm going to play with um, controller stands PS4 controller stands Xbox controller stands I've got a camera dock for my PlayStation 4 camera that will hopefully sit nicely on top of the TV a um, couple of things I need in the house um, I've got a door handle that's broke 
Um, over there is where my fridge is, where you can see the electric guitar. The door handle's broken, it comes open. I've already downloaded a 3D door handle that hopefully should. And this is what I'm just fascinated by 3D printing. Um, I think it's just great. Um, and to be honest, guys, I never thought the day had come that a very entry level and top rated um, 3D printer would be 220 quid. I've got to say, guys, go and pick one up. If you've contemplated it, you won't get a better bargain. eBuyer.com. I was fortunate enough, like I said in the beginning of the video, I had um, some football winnings this weekend and I literally have got this for free. Well, a pound that it cost me to have the bet. So I'm super, super excited. Before I get loads of questions, because I've, I've been onto the forums and stuff, and this is a popular thing with people. No, I'm not going to try and print a 3D gun. It's the million dollar question that everybody gets asked. I have, however, downloaded some gaming guns, Star Wars, Destiny, and things like that. I might play with them later. But at the minute, I'm just going to concentrate on small things, um, just to get to grips with the machine. Obviously, it's all new to me. It's all exciting. And I want to see the ins and outs of how it works. Then I'll start to get looking at other stuff. And I've already looked into the programs that you use to make your own designs. And it is exciting. Um, you know, and it's just a great little fun thing. And I am, I've not been this excited for many, many years for something. I can't wait to get it going. I'll be doing tons of videos, guys, on the Cranky Gamers channel. Um, I'll probably mention it on the show this weekend as well. Um, but I am going to make things that are gaming related. So... It is related to my gaming stuff. Um, I am going to do, like I say, some controller bases. I need a, in the corner there, you can see on the floor, all my game cases are there. I've already seen and downloaded um, DVD cases that you can store that will sit very nicely under there. So, all in all, it's pretty fun. Looks good. Cannot beat the price. And, like I say, £221, free delivery. Um, although I did pay for next day delivery with it being bank holiday. Because I'd have been waiting till probably the end of next week, if not. So, um, it's here. It's lovely. It is the, what's called the Da Vinci Junior 3D printer. Any questions, guys? Any requests? If you want me to print something off, a little thing that you may have seen yourself. What I will say, if you go onto that website, thingiverse.com, and there are absolutely hundreds of thousands of things on there to do with tools, kitchen stuff. Pan handles, door handles, gaming stuff, golf tees, just all manner of things. You can't help but transfixed by just scrolling through the files, because I know I was. And I just think it's brilliant. Can't wait to get into it. Loads more to come. Follow, subscribe, like below. Cranky Gamers um, YouTube channel. And the website where we do the video game podcast every week, crankygamersuk.net. If you want to email me, like I said... Any help is really appreciated. Completely new to this, like a baby. Um, so if you've got any links, any sites, any software, and especially to do with hacking the chip to get the spools, because I do want to, obviously, the spools of filament are really important. They can work out expensive, but the stuff I've seen that once you can crack this, it's half price and you get loads of different colors. So it's really good really great little hobby i've been wanting to do this for years and i'm looking forward to it so i hope you've really enjoyed this unboxing as much as i have i'm dying to try it and by the way the footprint is a lot smaller than i thought it would have been in the box so it is going to sit nicely over there so that's it guys till next time drop me a line cranky at gmail.com with any questions and visit a site if you like it cheers bye for now bye